What a great day of rugby. And now we get to drink, share some memories, see old friends, and make some new. None of this would be possible without Ross. And all his hard work and dedication. And Gus, thank you. Thank you for hosting year after year. This just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. My name is Krista. I am an original member of the FAU Women's Rugby Team. FAU rugby history. Not only is it the men's 25th year, but it is also the women's 20th, 20th year. And, yeah. and tonight, as you know, we're honoring all the fallen owls, and sadly, one of them is my sister, Casey Risley Johnson. Seven years ago, at age 33, in just six short weeks, Casey was diagnosed with gastric cancer. There were no symptoms or warning signs until it was too late. She was not even given the chance to fight. You got it. You got it. Come on. And she was such a fighter. It really wasn't fair. She left behind her wonderful husband and two beautiful little girls that were only three and five at the time. She is missed by so many. I want to tell you all about her, but first, let's go back in history a bit, back to 1995, when FAU was full of Chattahoochee and the Breezeway was the place to be. <laughs> FAU was in a transition period during this time. There was a mixture of college students, working professionals, along with many retirees. It didn't have that college feel like it does today. I'm sure you can just imagine how hard it was to recruit players for this game called rugby. Let alone find a girl willing to go out and get tackled. And trying to explain what a scrum is? Yeah, almost impossible. In 1995, the student government finally funded the men's rugby team, but with the condition that they allow females to play as well. And that is how the women's rugby team was born. Stu, Ted, and a few others decided it would be their pet project to create this women's rugby team that could travel around Florida and play and party with them. Let's <laughs> party. <laughs> they recruited in the breezeway, their classrooms, and even their girlfriends. <laughs> Trying to find enough girls to feel the team. Ted must have thought my sister, Casey, looked like the perfect fit. She was blonde, beautiful, athletic. Yeah, she looked like just the type that would love tackling someone or being tackled. But she was right, or he was right, sorry. <laughs> she was the perfect fit. For the next five years, Casey lived, breathed, and played rugby. Awesome. Unbeknown to me at the time, soon I would be as well. I was only in high school, but since I was taking two classes at FAU, she figured I was an easy target. And legal enough. I fell in love with the sport, and loved playing and traveling with my big sister over the next five years. Those were some of the best years of my life. Casey was a born leader. There was barely a team, and she grabbed who and what she could and ran with it. The men were nice enough to give us their old, worn-out jerseys since FAU bought them new ones. <laughs> You even helped coach us on their off time. Oh, it wasn't yeah, they easy. Coach. They coach. <laughs> it wasn't easy those first few years, but it sure was fun. I think it is so amazing how far FAU Women's has come over the last 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> the support from the players and the alumni have kept it strong. You, she would be so proud. Uh, sorry, she would be so proud that she was part of what we have here today. Casey always lived life to the fullest. She was the one who always stayed till the end of every event and was the life of the party. She knew how to have a good time and how to get the most out of whatever she was doing. She was outspoken and always said what was on her mind. She was confident and never held back. She was the type of girl you wanted to have on your side, on and off the field. I am lucky to have had both. To you, Casey.